along. There's another frog right there behind him right now. Around. See him? Seafood. Surf and turf. That is a surf and turf right there. Interesting. We might be inspiring, guys, a catch and cook in the future. But only time can tell. Yeah! There we go. There we yeah. go. Look at that. He's using those back legs to try to rip my grip right here. Look at that. He's tail whipping at the same time. These are... Oh, my... Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think he's got eggs. Good eyes, Manny. Is that one or two of them? Holy smokes. Yeah, he's a female with eggs. Slippery mother. And guys, these dogs out here are just not only catching iguanas and recovering them, but they're also sniffing out crabs. Right, they, mama? Right? Good dog, good dog. They love doing it, guys. They love coming out here helping helping their owners and stuff and they get fed really good they, they actually eat most of the cash of them dude yeah they are yeah yeah there are there's literally thousands that is there's a whole pouch air guns thank you so much for sending us this We've got the fx pantera compact that's massive look at the size of that tail right there no, look at the thick water nice work roddy you're getting the tire you're getting the tire Delicious. From the states and whatnot, dude, they don't know any better, and they get a mouth of toad, they're dead. So, Kaza, Luna, neighbor dog, they're all satos. They're mixed breed Puerto Rican dogs. They grew up around cane toads. They know cane toads. They don't bother them at all because they know if they get one in their mouth, they're gonna die. But when you bring dogs from the states and they don't know any better, mm. they get a hold of a cane toad. That dog's dead. Get the and cane toads. You know, they're supposed to eat just bugs and whatnot, but if you have leftover dog food, they will quite literally get in the bowl and eat the dog food. No way. And when the dog comes around, if he gets a mouthful of toad, he's dead. Ooh. Or so. what if the even in the dog food, the cane toad, like, expels some of the toxins or they urinates? Or... They get panicked and whatnot. Yeah. And I didn't know this until just recently. I thought only the adult toads were poisonous. They are poisonous through every single stage of the life cycle. Eggs, tadpoles, and adult toads are all poisonous. Odds are stacked up, man, with these toads. You can come out if you want. Wiggles, you can come out. You can skip around, though. The dogs are pretty proud of their retrieval work. Yeah, Casa goes bonkers if anything gets close to her iguana. <laughs> well, a person she's cool with, you know what I'm saying? But a horse, another dog, a cow, all they have to do is sniff it and she loses her mind. She gets, uh, gets defensive over her catch, you know? Oh, very defensive. Exactly. And then she's a jerk about it too. Like, she'll pick up an iguana and literally rub it in the other dog's face just to try to get them to look at it so she can get all aggro and beat them up. <laughs> she hey, is. She's a jerk. These dogs got a mind of their own, man. Yeah. Yeah, but with a spoon bit riding him, yeah. you know, that head's all up high, all proud like, you know, real like traditional Spanish stuff, you know? Yeah. And then he's got that Pasofino gay. <laughs> you want me to come worm him or do you want to keep fighting him? I yes, love you. Please. Yeah. 
Dog, where's his lead? Good job, doggies. Good job, yes, you did good. You did so good. Yeah, I'm going to top the uh, Avenger, I'll top the uh, Jet, I'll top my crown. Oh, I want to top that crown that you're shooting, uh, Raj, the, uh, what you want to call it, one? Shooting iguanas at night. Oh, he's Ooh. moving. Well, oh, the dog, there goes Luna. Kaz is looking. It's on the ground. It's on the ground, behind his thumb. My thumb. Yep, see, Kaz is already on it. I mean, Luna. Luna can't get through the gate. I can hear it. Yeah, it's moving. 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 You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Dude, I almost flew over on the edge of the ground of crap. Why? That's why. Mm -hmm. We're on crap season. A like, uh, Christmas Island? Yeah, I, I, I see some. They're, they're all over the place. Because when we were coming back from uh, San Juan, I talked to Laura and she's like, it's raining here hard. And then all of us went through a little bit. Right there? Yeah. That dark spot? There is not it. Is that it? No. Right, I'm going to go on top. Yeah. Right what about this one back here? Sure. Well, it's too, uh, too too many flowers right now. It's yeah. Got a couple out of this tree earlier. Yeah. So, oh, I think they ate, um, they ate two or three already today. They wouldn't even touch dog food or rice. It is the way of the one a dog. Crabs crabs oh yeah, yeah. We if any females are holding eggs, we let them go. Yeah, yeah. They hold them under their belly. The like scales open up and like hold the egg. Hairs, like hair, like hair. Yeah. So like when you catch them, you pick them up and you go, oh, this one's got eggs. You let her go. Oh, okay. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, you want? I mean. You want more crabs? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're tasty. Oh, no. We could. I mean, we can go look for some. We don't got to keep any. We can just like see if any are up. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll drive if you want to go look for some. Um, yeah, we can go right now, but maybe like we we'll go right, right here, just in the neighborhood. Um, I want to get a couple of guns um to fill up because Jose is going to take that tank with him to fill it, and we want to make sure everything we have is charged because we're going to go through a lot of air. We're going to go through a lot of ed lead, and um. We're gonna get through a lot of water tomorrow. We're gonna dehydrate. That would be awesome. Oh, I forgot about buying uh, Gatorades. We got, we got, we got a big box. We read up, yeah. Okay. We got drinks today, so yeah. that's that's. Trust, trust me, he will get you. <laughs> well, remember, two years ago, I had to take out my shoes and everything. Now I'm like, I wear ice packs and everything. No, you know, you know all too well, man. You're out here, you know, it's it's it's, it's a tropical climate. We both live in. You well, know? I live in here all 24 seven, basically. Yeah, it's a tropical climate, dude. The sun gets summertime, hot. it gets bad. And the work you know. we do, I mean, we're outside a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. Right? You gotta we keep are hydrated. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're protective posts to keep hydrated, yep, keep yep. cool, because like. Plus, you know, we got like stinging needles, like uh, poison ivy, or, or, or tropical kind of poison ivy. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of plants, but also like on this, like I was reading, like there's like a record heat wave out here too. You know? Oh yeah, it's been bad. It's been bad. <laughs> so you know, I heard, I heard, I heard we got to hunt either early morning or late in the afternoon, not midday, because of the sun. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I can push it true, but most people will like start throwing up and stuff. To be honest. 
Ooh, let's, 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 come on, go. I'm gonna go fetch it. Alright. So Izzy has taken upon, upon himself to go out there. Okay, Jose. He's going out there to get Laura the Laura is checking in chicken. The dogs are I am down. loading you up with guns to fill. I cleared the guns so I can, I can light up Izzy's way. Um, it looks like we got three. Um, I'm going to bust that crown out to 300. Okay. Um, because we might have time to sight that in before the wind kicks tomorrow. Okay, that's all good. Better get prepared now. You got him. Yeah. You got him. Is that a frog by him? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I think so. The horse, the horse is going along. There's another frog right there behind him right now. See him? That horse? Uh -huh. Damn, yeah, bro. <laughs> Things like the, the, the night sun, dude. I'm telling you, you break into my house. All right. They were just trying to get out. Look. There. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. The horse is trying to come out. <laughs> exactly. The dog is trying to go in. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy just uh, yeah, Rod, check it out. Photo, oh, no, wait a second. I don't think I'll show you this. Synthetic crown. It's got it's got a three hundred on it now. This thing's still holding. It's been holding for three four months. Oh, nice. It's at what two forty eight. So max fill on it's 250. Wait, wait. Yeah, wait, you know wait, what that wait. is. I know what, you know yeah, what that is. Aram Sweet, AE Sweet. Two years ago, when I was talking about me testing uh, prototype parts for someone. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. yeah. He is the, the mastermind behind all this kind of stuff. Wait, so what's his name? And tell me, what's, what's, what is this? It's like a crazy. Uh, well, this is like it's a, a rotary fad. Magazine and how many rounds is it? Was it? What would like? What should say? It's right. almost fifty, I think. <laughs> what does it say? Is Dang, it? Yeah, so thirty rounds, I believe. So a thirty round extension well, from the, 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 the original one. It's how many rounds, Wally? And twenty-five, I believe it's like fourteen, something like that. Eleven to fourteen. Izzy would now get his brain. Thirteen. I was in thirteen. Yeah. Okay. The A E Swede Rotary Fed. Thirty. Thirty. Nice. Uh, it's a little too much though on the side though. Yeah. So it's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be it reminds bit. me of yeah. uh, Tom, like a like. You gotta uh, be Tommy real, Gunn, real, real conscious of like low hanging branches. Yeah. So. I I think that magazine in a hunting situation is a little overkill. It's great for sighting in. Yeah. Like when you're at a bench. True. 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 So. I mean, it's it's you know it's got its pros, it's got its cons. Yeah. If we had a now, full out running, gun, maybe. If you're running the 300 on it, you're gonna have a mod. Uh, Tanto, it's gonna stick out about like so. Um, what is it, five inches? Five inches, yeah. Okay. And Ready then it? you can put a 600 on it. But I think it'd be nice to have a real short, compact package yeah. for a lot of the thick rush we're hitting. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. I think, I, hey, I, I, I don't see one thing to complain about. I think it's it's good, it just needs to probably, you know, get a scope on it, but other than that, yeah, and it you brought the rings. So you got an Optison uh, Viper. 2.5 to 10 power, uh, I believe it's a 40 millimeter objective. Um, comes down as far as peller, parallax to uh, 10 yards. Those are the uh, Orions. Yeah. So basically guys, for all those that, that, that just speak regular English and don't speak air gun, basically what these guys are saying is we got a bunch of, you know, different like modded Custom. out like magazines and Custom different man. things for them, you know? Yeah. Oh, so Gene, like, to be free in that CNC. So you guys can see like, you know, just different magazines and these are like aftermarket that's the original right there so when you're harvesting you're doing a lot of shooting um you have multiple magazines you have a drop pouch you keep your freshies you keep your deads because you don't want to stop harvesting to take the time to load up a magazine you want to have it in your pocket 
You want to pull it? You want to swap? You want to keep? Um, you want to? You want to just? Yeah. The less you reload, and the more more work you can get done. Right? Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Work. It's all about efficiency, and for you know, lack of a better way to say it, it's all about killing as many as you can as quickly as you can. Well, efficiency. if if you ever played Call of Duty, it's always quicker switching to your secondary than reloading. But in our case. Reloading takes forever, so it's always quicker to just to have a signal in the yeah. on your pocket. And the shot, you Since know, you got the here. rings and, you know, we got the scope to drop on it, it's your call whether you want to shoot the six or the four. Well, You're going to get more at, velocity. I, like, no, I'm good. I'm good using this one right here. But, no, but um, this one's fine right here. Um, Like I said, but, you know, like I said, those mags might come in handy because at these iguana removal jobs, there's apparently a lot of iguanas out there, right? Yeah. Like, I seen yeah. the coolers this guy filled up in yeah. two days. Like he's turning his back to us, but you guys, you know, we've seen some, you know, coolers and sizes of some things, so. This is where that 357 mod came out. Those five coolers. And I was like, with yeah, 125 I didn't realize it was 357. Pounds. It was like almost a thousand pounds. Pound. How, how many pounds? Uh, uh, five yo, coolers. You know, what's up with these they, things? Uh, they, yeah. they were all from 125 to, yeah. 100, to 140. So about, about roughly about 700 pounds of iguanas harvested about in there, two days. About there, 600 to Respectively. So well, that's, that's a lot of, that's a big. Probably from two 50s, days of work. Two days of work. Probably yeah. 50, 60 yeah. pounds in what, 30, 40 minutes today? And it wasn't even solid shooting. We were home about an hour huh? and he had already harvested yeah. Yeah, so, 40, so 45 pounds. So know? what I'm saying is, we, we we all of us got to be well equipped to be out there at these jobs, dude. Just plain and simple, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we'll get that sighted in. Um, and also yeah, we'll get that sighted. That would be no problem. Should be ready for tomorrow. But uh, we can also go, you know, go look for some crabs, and you know, we'll get her, we'll get, we'll get her ready for tomorrow. Hey, how are you? Ready to go hunting again? Yeah. But this time we're not going for iguanas. We're going for crabs. How are you? Guys, so this is Luna. This is Wally's dog right here. And as you guys see, he has a pack of about four of these canines living on this uh, compound. And you guys can see how it just, she's like the nicest dog out here, but she's also the leader. And she's also the first one to go for the iguanas. So we might be bringing Along with us, yeah, guys. So this is the this is the the type of iguanas that we're going after, guys. It's the the Puerto Rican subspecies, and you know I, we've caught a decent amount of iguanas in Florida. But like looking at this thing, you can see it kind of it's like you can see it's like a jungle iguana for sure. Just the color of it, the green. It's got the lesser Antillean stripes. Yeah. And you and you can the see tiger. the the camouflage is obviously different as well with those those different stripes. But what's really crazy, guys, is just like the like just how like sturdy and how like built these iguanas are look at the neck on that iguana right there y'all look at the size of these things so these are these are definitely more hardier iguanas so these jobs man i don't really know what to expect we're gonna go out there and see what's yeah. happening but we're with izzy right now so izzy's been taking some out so we got izzy like i said he's gonna be with us we got jose yes, senor. you know jose so we're just gonna basically be you know we got manny manny so basically, we're just gonna go out there and do it. Right here, dude. Yeah. A little bit behind the perfect spot between the eye, the ear, do the triangle right here. Yeah. But that's still probably went on an angle. Dang, the point yeah. I'm trying to make, guys, is these guys know their stuff. It finds you the craft I'm, because you want to do things humanely and legally. You know? Yeah, I'm good with those gators, Wally. I'm gonna leave those up to you. I see you got a tooth right there. Is that from one of your? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's actually from uh, last year, which was a uh, 12 foot seven, 675 pounds. Yeah, you're good luck with that. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm... That was a 2022 gator. But we'll get a bigger one this year. <laughs> yeah, those those gators are, are crazy. Um, yeah, so the gator season's starting up as well, right? I'm going back to South Carolina probably second to last week of August to start scouting because season in South Carolina opens up September 9th, and it runs until October 14th. Oh, okay. So the window is just opening up right now. What are, what are, yeah. like, so you're going after something bigger than what you got last year, right? Definitely. And I'm actually coming to your neck of the woods. I'm importing or exporting one of the Monteros into either Miami or Jacksonville. Ooh. I'm flying in, picking it up, and then I'm picking up an airboat and driving that up to South Carolina because we're going to use a new airboat this season. 
For all those that don't know what a Montero is, I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen right now. It's basically like an old school style, like Jeep style uh, vehicle, but it's made by Mitsubishi, right? Mitsubishi. And you're gonna pick up an airboat. What are you, so after that, what are you, what are, you're going hunting, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hunting gators <laughs> for a solid, well, a whole season. And then after that, we'll probably be back down here probably around October 21st. He's got his own thing going on over here. So if you guys want to check that out, which is pretty cool, that's what kind of drew me here. Well, Jose and I are actually offering full hunting packages right now. Um, we're doing four day, three days of hunting. We're offering airport pickup, drop off, transportation, full time guide, and you can pretty much tailor make a trip for yourself, whether it's snorkeling, hiking, eco adventures, fishing. hunting, fishing. Iguana hunting, dove hunting, yeah, pig yeah. hunting. So you, you guys um, offer a bunch of different stuff just besides yeah. the iguana hunting. But yeah, yeah, basically what we're doing. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? You come down, it's like, well, I want to check a waterfalls. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll cater to what but your they, wants are because not everyone wants to come down and spend a full three to four days hunting iguanas. People want to hunt, some people want to fish, some people want to go check out waterfalls, and some people want to sit around the beach and drink pina coladas. That is true, that is true. I mean, you come, you know, you come to Puerto Rico, but they do specialize in iguana removal, and that's the main reason why we're here. You, you yeah. know, they, they do the iguana removal, but yeah, just a bonus, we they do have, they do do other stuff too. A lot of really cool hidden snorkeling, spear they fishing know, spots. They know a lot of gems, local gems local around here. Yeah. really doing that. There's amazing things to do on the island, and you just gotta have that local knowledge, and you gotta, you know what I'm saying, yeah, be resourceful, and like, you know what I'm saying, and you got, you know, like I said, guys, they just bought this house out here, and then also, you know, they're doing iguana removal on the island, so they came out here, they're helping out. We came out to help them, we wanted to see what everything was about. Like I said, we've been uh, hitting pictures, but um, yeah, we're looking forward to the hunt tomorrow, man. I'm excited, man. Do this. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, like I said, I'm on your territories. Well, Izzy's with us. Izzy's from the uh, from Florida too, you know. Yep. He's from Orlando, you know. Uh, he's coming down here. Izzy, I mean, you've been working. How does it feel to be down here a little bit? Pretty good. Excited, man. And this is your first time in Puerto Rico. I this, didn't know that yeah, until not first too long ago. Here. First time out here. He's he's not wasting any time. He already cleaned out the yard right here. But we're gonna need his help definitely for tomorrow because. You know, like I said, I mean, is he, you, you kill I'm not even gonna be shooting. I'm probably gonna be helping them recover. To be honest, with about you. thirty minutes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, about thirty minutes. So, I'm not gonna be probably not shooting tomorrow. I'm gonna be helping with the recovery. You know what I'm saying? Because these guys, you know, I might shoot a couple of them, but these and guys. <laughs> real quick, unintentional plug for FX. Izzy is shooting a Maverick, and he disassembled, degassed pretty much the whole thing. Came out here, reassembled it, gassed it. And it was pretty much right on zero. You adjusted windage a little yeah. bit. So. I, I adjusted the windage because it was windy. Because of the wind. But now. So, I mean, we're that says a lot as far as FX right yeah. there. You know well, what I'm Puerto saying? Puerto Rico is right in the hurricane highway. So out of 12 miles of the year, six is like hurricane season. All right. And we're at right about to hit that. And with El Nino and everything, the yeah. temps, uh, weather is going crazy lately. Oh yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I guess let's hang out for a little bit. Let's. Uh, we can go look for some crabs if you guys want to see if any. Yeah, are. yeah, I'm about that. I, I was just told that dinner. Is <coughs> okay, we can. Okay. Okay. I'm not hungry, um, but if y'all are, like, I'm. Yeah. I'm yeah. cool with whatever. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Okay. I'm chilling. I'm hungry. Y'all, go ahead, Luna. Luna, you are coming with us. Yeah. You are not coming with us, you silly little puppy. You gotta sit here and take a nap. Luna, you're coming. Luna is gonna be coming with us. Is she coming? Casa, you fired? You coming? She's like, I'm out. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'll tell you one second. Let me get up close. I think that's... Uh... Can we catch these things? Should I be trying to catch it by hand? Yeah, it'll buzz. Yeah? It'll feel like it's vibrating in your hand. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it. Look at that. There it is. Just like Wally said, check it out. He's shaking. It's like a tambourine right now. He's vibrating. And I think these are those insects that make those noise. Let's see what he does. Oh. Yeah, that real sharp whirring. Like, ring. Right. You know, that, that, that airy feeling when you're out. That's, 
making that weird hairy noise, those are the guys. Yo, I want to. I want to see a, a Puerto Rican anole out here. There's one there. <laughs> They're you know commonly called house cachos. Salamandra. Is that, is that a local nickname they call these yeah. things? It's like a Salamanca. Translation. Salamanca. Kind of sounds like a salamander. Yeah, yeah, salamander. But those are geckos. But these are actually Indo-Pacifics. Whoa, whoa. Dude, you're... I think there's a frog around here, man. I keep hearing a ribbit. Barking tree spider. It's a barking tree spider? Yeah, I heard a tree barking spider. A tree barking spider. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, seriously, dude, there's a frog right there. Hey. Seriously, though, there is a frog right there, though, dude. Oh, what? You got the machete? Machete? <laughs> what do you think this is, bro? Nightmare on Elm Street? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know how, how easy to be tracker for Iwans, right? Let me see if I can, you know, whisper the frog. Let's see. <laughs> Manny, stop I, I, it. I, think, I, I need to concentrate. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's a frog language. I, I, th I think the call <laughs> might be working, man. He just turned his head. He started moving. Manny, where you at, man? Why are you so afraid? <laughs> hey, well, get, guys, get him. He's, he's getting he away. He's getting away. <laughs> Manny, get him. He's getting away, bro. Manny, give him the call. Say something to him. In, in frog him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. all right guys there's also some type of rare anole that lives out here too it's called the cuvier anole we're gonna go ahead jump in wally's montero check this bad girl out apparently they don't, there's not too many on the east coast of the u.s of these things a lot on the west coast. There was their special order from Japan, um, and they're built like a ton of bricks. I should be able to get around your truck. Even right now, let's just jump I, in I this could... and come back real quick. Okay. Yeah, just you real know, quick. Okay. Just real quick. We guys, we don't yeah, got stuff. We're just gonna drive yeah, we don't a couple got... blocks of the neighborhood, yeah. and then come back, and then we'll fill up those guns, and then uh, you got the tank. You know what I'm saying? We should, we should leave the dog here. Let her rest, dude. She don't go by herself. It's no, good. no, I'm down with that. She can totally stay. Yeah, because it's not gonna be safe. Cas so you're gonna stay here, puppy. All right, it's too dangerous for you to go out there by yourself. But she probably still is gonna wanna come, but. Where you want to sit, man? In the front or the back? Uh -oh. Sit on the front, Jump in. Dude. It don't matter. Whoever's riding the shotgun's got to grab the gate. I, I want I want a pinch of uh, red uh... Bruh. And then, uh, what is that coming? What's up? I want to be close to the water, man. You know, business. Is... Hey, neighbor doll. How are you? You want to come look for some crabs? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we do have one dog on the fleet with us tonight. Yeah. I think the gunplay uh, sent her outside the gate. And now she's happy. She wants me to drive fast. She likes to chase the car. Neighbor dog, you're right in front of the car. all spunky right now. I think uh, we're going to turn up this one. <laughs> what? 
I know, neighbor dog. We hear you. We hear you. Hold on. I'm turning this way. She gets really freaky, like protector of the truck. So I'm not really sure what that's about. No, that's not Kaza. It's another dog. Looks just like her. Oh, a dog has got a darker face and older. Because anything that eats them gets, you know, unalive. I got a question to ask you. Where, where do the baby iguanas go out here in Puerto Rico? Um, in my house, they come out of the nest. And then the dogs eat them and rip them to shreds and put them in their water dishes. Okay. But out here, they can be sleeping out here in this uh, this vegetation? Yeah. Um, you really don't see many babies here. Um, Wait, stop, stop. There's a baby right there. Stop. Baby Iwana? Yeah. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, I got to come out there. Let me see if I can let myself out. You got the video. Or the... Yeah, okay. I got that. Oh, I forgot. I could just let myself out. Alright. He's in there. Oh, shoot. There's two of them. Dude, oh, there's wow. two. Oh, they're, they're young ones. Grab them both. Yeah, I'm going to try. No, you don't got to. Is he still recording? Look at the crab. Uh, he's up, he's up, he's up. Oh, he's up, he's up, he's up. I got to grab him. Good snag. Yeah! There we go. There we yeah, go. There it is right there. Let's go. A young juvenile Puerto Rican iguana. That was probably eight weeks old. Eight weeks? Oh! They grow quick out here, mate. They do. They get big fast. Oh, and this one is feisty, dude. Hold on. Let me take my light off real quick. Whoa, look at him. Mm. That is a lizard that we came looking for. Let me show it to Wally. Wally! Check it out, Mike. You were right. Oh, he was feisty. He yeah. opened up his mouth. He's so strong. Uh, iguana, look at look at that. He's using those back legs to try to rip my grip right here. Look at that. He's tail whipping at the same time. These are, oh my, oh my gosh. No, but on a serious note, they got very strong, sharp claws. And this whipping tail right here is a great defense. You can see he's going crazy. But that's insane, guys. This is what we came here. Look, look at, look how he's... Good eyes on spotting that guy, man. Yeah, he blended it. And and blended it. Bite. Look at the size of the tail compared to the body. It's longer, I think. He's a good healthy one. Dude. The perfect condition specimen right here. We're going to go ahead and put him in the bag, y'all. Oh, there you go, bye. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's a feisty little oh, one. Here. Oh. Yep. Oh, now he's rolling on it. Look at that. Yep. Oh man, and guys, that's why you don't want to get bit by these. Sometimes they can bite and roll. And also handling them right here, these claws are like razor blades. All right, we're well, gonna have. Well, I had a run in it a few weeks back. Oh yeah, yeah. Went through the glove and everything. That was a beheaded right. in one. Right there? Yeah. Yeah, I went straight through the fingernail. So, so tell me a little bit about what happened. You're cleaning it. You took the head off. And so after we shot the wana, we gar uh, grabbed the garden loppers, beheaded the wana. And we were just taking the, the dewlap off with a razor blade. Yeah. And the, the head by itself just clamped down. You jumped and bit you? And bit me. Just like the story about you. You're the uh, rattlesnakes? Yeah. yeah. You would? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, there he goes. Oh, my goodness. Kids, do not try that at home. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, he just gave you <laughs> Oh, man, you're wild, dude. You are wild. You either got strong hands, strong fingers. Oh, money has got a baby one. Money! Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Money! Let's go. Money. Let's go. Nice. The baby Look baby at one. that. Let me let me help you out here, Manny. Look at Oh. Here, I'm getting out. Excellent. Look at this little whippersnapper. Here, Manny, take your I'm catch, bud. Film him. Yeah, He's awesome. a couple days old. That guy yeah. just crawled out of the nest, just crawled out of the dirt. That is a oh, baby baby. Blue too. Look at that. He's a week old at the very, very most. This guy's a baby hatchling, Puerto Rican iguana. Probably just came out the egg. And look at that guy. He's already feisty. He's pumping his dewlap. He's tail whipping. 
And he's got that angry look in his face, like, don't mess with me, man. Even out the egg, these guys can be very feisty. Here you go, Manny. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, wow. Puerto Rican subspecies baby, guys. Confirmed. Any more, guys? See real quick. I'll tell you what, that baby though. Yeah. There's gonna be more. Right there. You see one? There. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's thick inside there. See, I'm not too familiar with the land out here. I think Jose sees one. Yeah. Another one. Ooh. Jose just snagged another one. We started looking around because that guy was so fresh and so young. We know a clutch just hatched out around here and there's gonna be some more. Bye bye boo, bye boo, bye boo. <laughs> chill dude, chill, chill. Do they, hey, do they come out the egg that feisty? Oh yeah, yeah. Once that, you know, egg sack dries up and whatnot. They're ready to fight and fend for themselves, right? Dude, it's survival of the fittest. Um, so guys, you guys can see it right here. We're in a part of a remote farmland and we're looking for iguanas and crabs at night. Hey, get them. Get him, Wally, get him. Yeah, that's a clutch that just hatched out because these guys are all over the place. And they're all about the same size, yes. Yeah. Oh, these are, well, whoa, there's no Actually, telling. They could be the same clutch, depends on how much they ate. You know what I'm saying? Right, one could have been, eat, oh, the, one could have been eat, eating more. But uh, there's definitely uh, nesting going on out here. Oh, yeah. On the side of this farm, it's, it's insane, dude. It's the sandy soil. The it's sandy really, soil. really conducive to them digging a nest, laying eggs, and hatching a successful clutch. Oh, oh. it looks sort of like a Cuban bark, but he's got a short snout. Yeah, see, so look at the short snout and the really pronounced dewlap. Oh yeah, he's got he's got an interesting pattern on it, kind of like you said, it's a yeah. bark a barkanole. No, he looks like a barkanole, but I think it's uh oh look at him throwing the dewlap out. I think it's a juvenile big head anole. Alright, there he is. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry about that. What are you saying about him now? Um, I thought he was a barkanole, um, or, a, you know, a brown, but he's actually looking like a juvenile big head anole. Big. See, he's got the short stout, he's got the attitude, he's already throwing up the dewlap. He's got a lot of striations on the front and the back. Dang. Um, I don't, I can't positively ID him, but I do think it is a juvenile big head. Yeah. Guys, uh, you guys see this right here? We Look got at him, just trying to bite right there. This Puerto Rican feisty anole right here. Drop a comment if you guys can help us confirm here, the hold species. That little iguana. Yeah. Um, I want to try to get this guy out. Good catch. I think I see another little. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, I got him. Oh no. I think it was another anole, but he escaped. Yeah, it was brown anole. But it has it, dude. That's. You know what's crazy is you can actually go to different parts of the world, find basically these different subspecies of creatures that you might have in your own backyard. Well, for me at least. Oh, don't don't get me scared, man. I don't. Bro. I don't I don't know what what they got going on in Puerto Rico about a El chupacabra, but. Goat sucker. Uh, okay. Actually. What's it from? What was the Chupacabra originated? Chupacabra, there. That it was a United States military secret, like, <laughs> biologically developed a chupa, animal. A Chupacabra? Yeah, that is. Okay. Oh. And now that urban myth is spread to a lot of Latin American countries, but it originated here in Puerto Rico. And, um,. Oh man. You had a lot of goats kitten basically killed, slaughtered, drained of blood. And chupacabra translates to goat sucker. So, okay, there's a lot of. Uh, yo, what is that right there? Where's that? Right there. Oh, uh, it's another one. 
Oh, nice grab. Yeah, I feel it. That's a big head. See how he's got the short snout and he's already got the pronounced crest and he's feisty. Yeah. So. Oh, Speaking of feisty, these bugs are feisty too out here. Yeah, they're coming into the light. <laughs> but that is a, a adult specimen of the big headed anole. That, uh, that's not an adult, that's sub adult. Oh, sub. I'm this sorry. is a baby baby. That's sub adult. They actually get pretty big. They're really, really cool. I'll trade you for another subspecies. Ooh. Ooh. Now, this guy, Ooh. he's so small, we don't know what he is. I believe this is actually a common uh, Puerto Rican anole, which is very similar to the United States green anoles, Anolis carolinus. Um, these are a little bit bigger, though. Y'all have them down in Florida, especially around the Miami area. Y'all have really big green anoles. They're generally these guys. No, but this guy, I'm looking at him right quick. And this guy, he's got his dewlap yeah, all the like, way out it's still. Like, it's like yellow, too. But that brown anole right there, he looks similar, but he's definitely a different uh, pattern, different color. Yeah, well, look at them compared. See how he's got the longer snout? And he doesn't have the striations on the back? Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah, for short. Oh, okay. Short short snout anole, regular size anole, or regular snout anole. Incredible. So these were, I guess, they're in the same family, but they've evolved and they they have different adaptations for different ways of hunting or different uh, ways of surviving, guys. So pretty interesting the diversity out here of lizards that we're catching the oh, alpha no, no. males will eventually get somewhat of a crest but their body shape still looks like a green anole there is one where is it I got right it. here no okay. way okay mandy yeah. just spotted it jose's gonna grab it oh he's a small one get it jose get it get it get it get it get it, get it, get it. Oh my gosh! Oh, he tried to get me. Ah, almost. Oh, 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 oh. I got him. Oh, don't let him go in the bush. Got him, got him, got him. You got him? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I got the bag legs. Big body. He must have lost the claw and regenerated it. Because it's got two tiny claws, but a pretty big carapace. And he's slippery. I got him. Oh. So the trick is that you want to get your fingers behind the, the claws uh, so it cannot get, <laughs> grab you. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Um, guys, that is the same crab that we were talking about. That's a male. That we were looking for, the mangrove forest crab. Blue land, land crab. crabs. The blue land crab, guys, that comes out here uh, once a year to breed and lay thousands and thousands of offspring. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a little, a little bit small, but still very good start, man. And he's out here just in the jungle in the forest, guys. Good eyes on that, bro. The shed. And you can see all the tiger stripes like a lesser Antillian. Incredible, dude. Seafood. Surf and turf. That is a surf and turf right there. Interesting. We might be inspiring, guys, a catch and cook in the future. But only time can tell. Guys, there's literally a crab in the bush right now. He just ran through the fence. OMG. Where's that crab going? That one. Oh my gosh, I think it got eggs. Holy smokes. Yeah, it's a female with eggs. No flipping way. I saw her as we were driving by. Slippery. I'm coming help you out there, buddy. I just don't want to get pinched. I got it. As long as you get behind. Ah, 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 ah. Got it, got it, got it. There got it is. There's there a row. That's the baby crabs. There it is right there, guys. That's one of the exact specimens we were telling you guys about. Of these crabs breeding. This one we want to release. Oh, yeah, that's a female. See all the eggs? It will go into the sea and shake, shake, shake and release all the eggs. And see how, and see how this one has the a bigger big, claw? Yeah. Whoa. Bigger claw, yeah. I'm looking at those eggs right there, man. It looks like there could be thousands of them, dude. Yeah. They are? Yeah, yeah, there are. There's literally thousands. That is There's a whole insane. pouch. Yeah, that's a mama crab. We don't mess with them. That is There's a whole pouch. Yeah, that's a mama crab. We don't mess with them. Next gen. Yeah, she's facing to the jungle. 
right into the jungle she goes incredible dude you can't make this stuff up guys she's disappeared hello yeah well we're right out front where you can let him in the gate and shot i can hear him whining we'll be there in a minute Yeah, that's a good look, one, dude. Hit me. Yeah. Good eyes, Manny. Manny just shot a good one. Is it really? A real good one. Oh, man. It's up there. Oh, he's on the move, too. I got him. Is that one or two of them? Or is that it, just... I don't know, man. It's hard to tell. It might be two breeding. Two. It's definitely a big one. Guys, we think we got two crabs breeding right now. It, I don't know, man. It's hard to tell. It might be two breeding. It's definitely a big one. It's a big one. It is a big oh, one. Oh, look at that claw. I can see it the claw is a big one. It's going to start hitting your way. Here it comes. It's coming this way. Yeah, it's coming down guys. It's a big one. It is a big oh, one. Oh, look at that claw. I can see the claw from here, man. Holy smokes. Here it comes. It's coming this way. Yeah, he's coming downhill, guys. Oh, he flipped all the way over on you. Yep. Oh, he's a good one, dude. Yeah. He's real good. Yeah, yeah. He's feisty, you know. And since I don't do this right all the time. Oh, he's trying to get you, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Luna, I mean, Casa Dome. Oh, Ow! Oh, Almost got oh. me. Jose's got him. Oh, oh. oh, he flipped all the way over on you. Yeah. He's going downhill. Oh, that He's thing's a massive. Good one, dude. That yeah, thing's massive. Real good. Holy awesome. smokes. And That's a giant mud crab right there. The oh, he's trying to get you, Bo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Luna, I mean, Casa Dome. Oh, my gosh. Ow! Oh, almost got oh. me. Did he get you bad? No, no, almost. Okay. He's got him, though. Too close. To Casa, come here. Good job on helping us find that. Wow. That's a good one. That right there has got to that has got to oh, be. Oh, Casa, don't do that. That's going to get you in the nose. Oh, she knows better, but she still gets them. Oh, it's... So if I wouldn't know any better just from the size of the uh, claw, I'm going to just assume that that might be a male. It is. Really? Now, check it. Flip him over on the belly. See this? Looks now like it's, a V. It's, yeah. It's a point, almost like a... Okay. And that's how you can tell that's a male. Okay, that's the definite way right there. Yeah, you saw the female, how she had like a flat flap right here? Mm-hmm. And that's used to hold the eggs. This folds down, and that's how... It's crazy right there. Yeah, that's that's a great specimen right there. That's a male. A lot bigger than the one that we've seen before. She had eggs, and then the one after that... The claws. This one right here was kind of like in this mud, like in this hill. What do you think he could be doing right here? You think he could be digging a hole or something? Looking yeah, for food around. and looking for a female companionship. So he's just out playing the game on the prowl. Wow. And guys, these dogs out here are just not only catching iguanas and recovering, but they're also sniffing out crabs. Right, right they, mama? Right? Good dog, good dog. They love doing it, guys. They love coming out here helping, helping their owners and stuff, and they get fed really good. They actually eat most of the catch. Crap meat, they also love it. That is incredible. Incredible, guys. Good job, Casa. Good job, Jose. Good job, Wally. Let's see what happens, what this crab decides to do. Manny's gonna get crabs again, look. See, the dog is gonna In try. In your way, Manny. Uh oh. Still wants to get it. Big, oh! Not me, not me to crap. 
Yeah, it's okay. Let's it's go. okay. Let's good go. job, Casa. Leave the crown. She found it. She found it. She found it. Good job. It's okay. Thank you. She found it. Now we'll leave the crab be. But she's, these dogs, guys, they just don't give up. They just... They just don't give up, guys. They, <laughs> they just keep going. Like, she knows that it has a claw and it's dangerous, but it's like she still wants to get it, guys. It's like the silly dog, guys. It's like the dog can get hurt from this crab. They just, just want to eat him. But this crab, luckily, we're going to go ahead and put him back. Let him go on his way. He's probably looking for a female. And this is going to keep the population of these crabs healthy on this island for generations and years to come. We'll let him go. That's because uh, South Carolina, or we can only use dogs. Wait, there's another dog. Uh, what the? Guys, these dogs just keep following us, guys. Dude, I'm gonna let you hit the gate. I'm gonna turn around real quick so I can come in another way. I don't know if they like in a pack mentality or what, but there's a bunch of dogs. Watch out, buddy. They just keep following us. They keep trying to take iguanas and crabs. See? They wanted to go hunting with us. Maybe next time, buddy. Maybe next time.